Lawmaker, professor, advocate, journalist, mother, and wife. All of these descriptions fit former state representative Mary Lou Collishaw. She passed away on June 23rd after battling cancer. NCTV 17's Jenny Barger remembers a woman known as one of Naperville's most cherished civic leaders. The flags at City Hall fly half staff for a woman whose legacy can be seen all over. What a gal, what a drive, what a spunky personality. Long before Mary Lou Kalashaw represented Naperville as its state legislator, she had an impact on the community. After coming to Naperville from Rockford in 1958, she began writing for the Naperville Sun. Always a fan of music, Kalashaw had a passion for the Naperville Municipal Band. Over the years, she wrote about the band in her column, and in 1980, she and Dorothy Keller, current director Ron Keller's mother, wrote a book called This Band's Been Here Quite a Spell, 1859 through 1981. She really had a love for the band and for Naperville. I think that was the big thing. She just loved the community and all the positive things that were going on in the town. But Kalashaw was more than just a journalist. She had a love for children and education and served on School District 203's board for 11 years before giving it up to run for state representative for the 96th district in 1983. Down in Springfield, Kalashaw was one of the only women in a man's world, but she held her own. In only her freshman term as state representative, she helped change Edward Hospital from a public hospital into a private hospital the very same hospital that Kalashaw passed away at. The entire Edward family is going to miss her. We owe a lot to her and, and our history. And uh, she was just a terrific person and we're going to miss her. But Kalashaw's love of education never went away. In 1994, she spearheaded the biggest piece of legislature of her career, the Illinois Education for Homeless Children Act. Kalashaw retired as state representative in 2003. You know, she was small in stature, but she was so big in character. And any time she came into a room, you had to recognize her. Current representative Darlene Sanger says Kalashaw helped pave the way for women like her to take a role in their community. Nothing intimidated Mary Lou. I mean, there were no barriers for her. You know, she was really fair, straight, understood what had to be done, and there weren't walls because she didn't create any. She didn't see walls. Kalashaw didn't let retirement slow her down. Always an advocate of North Central College, she received an honorary degree and became an adjunct professor of education. In addition to her talents, Kalashaw donated all of her legislative papers to the college's archives. If you do the right thing and if you're nice about it, it's amazing how you can bring people together. And that was her style. Many organizations and people all across the city have honored Kalashaw over the years. In 1997, Indian Prairie School District 204 named a school after her. Mary Lou Kalashaw made a big impact on the people and places of Naperville. She was a groundbreaker. I would say a lady of commitment and perseverance. That's what it's all about, a great example. I think of Mary Lou as the kind of politician that uh, I wish we had a lot more of in, uh, not just in Springfield, but in Washington too. I'm Jenny Barger for Naperville News 17. NCTV 17 featured Mary Lou Kalashaw in a documentary about Naperville's most influential women called A Role of Their Own. We are honoring Kalashaw's memory by re-airing the documentary this month. Visit nctv17.com for airtimes.